John, John, you know, I'm, I'm a lucky man. I'm a lucky man to do this show, so obviously to share the stage with you and the band, and also to be able to share the stage with some of the guests that we have here tonight. Yes, All of right. the guests, really, yes. but sometimes some, like, you know, a little dream guest comes along for you, yes, somebody right. you really love. Hugh Laurie is here tonight. He's one of my comedic heroes. He can do it all. Yeah, yeah. He can do it all. He's house. Yeah. He's house. <laughs> Folks, if you watch this show, you know I spend most of my time right over there carefully sorting through the day's biggest stories and selecting only the most subtle and unblemished ostrich and crocodile news leather, which I then entrust to artisan graduates of the Ecole Grégoire Ferrandi, who carefully dye them in a palette of bright, zesty shades and adorn them with the finest, most topical inlay work using hand tools and double magnifying glasses, then assemble them according to now classic and elegant geometry using our signature saddle stitching and line it with beeswax-coated linen and finally attach a mallet hammered strap, pearled hardware, and clochette to create for you the one-of-a-kind haute couture Tour Hermes Birkin bag that is my monologue, but sometimes, sometimes, folks, sometimes, sometimes I wake up in the last car of an abandoned roller coaster at Coney Island where I'm hiding from the triads. I huff some engine lubricants out of a Safeway bag and stagger down the shore to tear the sail off a beach schooner. Then I rip the coaxial cable out of an RV, an elderly couple from Utah, Hank and Mabel, lovely folks, and use it to stitch the sail into a loose pouch-like rucksack, and I stow away in the back of a garbage truck to the junkyard where I pick through to the debris for only the broken toys that make me the saddest until I have loaded for you the Hobo Fugitives Bug Out Bindle of News that is my segment. Meanwhile... <laughs> That's the only food I need. <laughs> Meanwhile... The Late Show cannot at all exclusively reveal that Kim Kardashian says Pete Davidson tried to give her his number when they first connected at the Met Gala, but she couldn't use her phone because of her outfit. <laughs> I've been there. It's tough to use a touch screen when you're cosplaying as a Dementor. <laughs> Meanwhile, Lululemon wants your used workout clothes. It's the brainchild of Lululemon's new head of marketing, Creepy Rick. Meanwhile, thanks to a brand new law, Tennessee will make ivermectin available without a prescription. Okay, quick question. All those people who took ivermectin before had a prescription? <laughs> From who? Yes, doctor, I have a heart condition. Worms and I am a horse. I know I don't look like a horse. <laughs> That's how sick I am. <laughs> ivermectin, of course, a popular COVID cure among people who don't care that it doesn't cure COVID. And only one Republican voted no to this bill, Senator Richard Briggs, a surgeon from Knoxville, who admitted he may have a pro-science bias. No. No. Uh-uh. No. Nuh-uh. Facts aren't bias. That's like saying, based on the flames and the screaming, I think you're on fire. Then again, I may have a seeing and smelling bias. But hey, do your own research. Meanwhile, sexy lingerie for men is here. Um, excuse me, sexy lingerie for men has been here. <laughs> turns out, turns out designers are thinking outside the boxers, and now lacy thongs and sheer undergarments designed for men's bodies are shaking up the traditional lingerie market. Okay, but don't shake it too hard, or something's gonna pop out of there. We'll be right back with Hugh Laurie.